Um, and I'm generally hyped for this. We have been waiting uh, for this event a little bit last year, so we are hoping for some. We're definitely ready for some new stuff coming out. Sure. Um, we're definitely gonna get some Sonic Frontier stuff. Um, and some other things. We're gonna be seeing like Harry Potter. I, I do. If I would love some some games that would be high for. Like that's gotta be amazing. If they do this, like if they do this event, like wow. Like holy. My price of 23 seconds left, guys. Been waiting for this event for so long. Um, let's see. So, yeah. Been waiting. Oh. So long for this event. So, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be playing a game now. And then I'm gonna watch the event. I'm just, uh, just uh, for some reason, so. <laughs> 18 plus disclaimer. Gamecom may contain inappropriate games, inappropriate for children. Ooh, we gotta see some inappropriate games, right? 20 plus, baby. Please welcome Jesus, to Ryan, the stage, when does this take the place? creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. When did this take place? <laughs> Wow. Jeff is amazing. Oh my god! Hello everybody! How are you doing? Hello. It is so great to have a live crowd with us here in Cologne, Germany for Gamescom 2022. I'm Jeff Keeley. I gotta say I am so excited to be here with you. We did this in 2019 live in person and during the past two years we had to do it virtually from Los Angeles and in 2020 the first show that my team did together live was that August Gamescom and we connected with all of you virtually wow. and the fact that we're back here in person I don't want to ever take this for granted before so uh, guys you ready for a fun show yes sir yes sir baby well I gotta say we have a lot of great stuff for you tonight we have Tons of world premieres. The entire industry has come together oh to showcase I'm the future really for you. We've got games like Sonic Frontiers, the Callisto Protocol, Outlast Trials, Hogwarts Legacy, Gotham Knights, and a lot of surprises of things that we didn't talk about in advance. So we've got some good stuff for you tonight here at Gamescom. And I can't wait to get started. We've got two hours of stuff. So should we just get right to it? Okay, I'll be around 1, 1 p.m. I love the roar of a live crowd, and because we got a live crowd, we got to surprise you with some stuff tonight, too. So let's start things off with our first world premiere. It's a new world from a brand new team that has a bold vision. Let's check this out. Okay. All oh, the music. Okay, so it's a new ass game. It's a new game. We want the community to build this. We want it to be their worlds. We want them to tell their stories in their game. I think it's human nature to navigate uncharted territory. To find a place where we're free to explore, to be creative, and to share amazing experiences. The goals are to make an experience that's unlike any other, which is such an exciting thing to be part of. I think ultimately like, that's kind of been the big ambition, is to create this kind of like open world that can be built out in every direction. I think it's every day new discoveries and this constantly growing. We've put a lot of focus, I think, on the current zeitgeist and what it means to represent yourself digitally. This is more than a game, it's a labor of love, it's a labor of passion. The dream is to create a whole new world for the next generation of gamers, and I think that we've, we've kind of captured that. Players will play a massive part in this, 
It's, it's not, not going to be just, just our game. game. It's, it's not, not going to be just what we decide to do with it. There's something in it that will definitely appeal to you, no matter what it is that you love to do. The really thrilling aspect of all this is that people can see what we're doing for the first time. I'm just so excited for people to see what we've been spending the last five years for our hearts and souls into. And I'm excited to see how I feel about it. I don't think we have to wait just a little bit longer. Everywhere has become more than just a video game for us. And today, we're delighted to give you a peek behind the curtain at what we've been working on. Okay. looks actually good, wow. Look at the graphics on this. Oh, it's a racing game. Oh, it's like a Rocket League game. It's like a, it's a Forza like thing. I see cars. Yeah, it's definitely a game. Oh no, it's a new studio, I believe. The music. Uh, oh, it's shooting. Oh, it's a new studio. Nice. Everywhere studio. Nice. Oh. Everywhere dot game. Okay, nice. That is actually awesome. There you go, everywhere, and I'm sure you've got a ton of questions, and joining me now from Build a Rocket Boy is Adam Whiting to hopefully answer some of those, because uh, we're a little confused, but we want to know a lot about this, so tell us, uh, everywhere, what kind of game is this? What can you tell us? Yeah, what is it? Well, firstly, can I just say, it's really exciting to just be here, and we've been looking forward to coming out of stealth mode, and really delighted to start the conversation today here at Gamescom. Now, now I won't be able to reveal everything, but what of course I can you can. Of course you can reveal really everything. We're not to make a normal game. <laughs> the scope and ambition of this project are quite unlike anything else. We want to build a whole new world for gamers, and not just a place to play, but watch, share, create, hang out with your friends, and so much more. Well, I gotta say, uh, the end of the trailer, I think we all were taken aback by whoa, change, change art style. This seems totally different. What, is that part of everywhere? What can you tell us? Well, well yes, that's one of the many surprises we've got in store for players. I mean, we are passionate about making games and telling stories, but ultimately we made everywhere to be a place where players can make their own experiences, be who they want to be and tell their own stories. But we're still passionate about making immersive and cinematic experiences that players can just get lost in and enjoy. I guess you say we want people to have their cake and eat it, and everywhere is a place that can happen. All right, well, definitely a bold uh, vision for what you're doing here. Uh, the other question I'm sure we're all wondering is, we didn't see any date on the trailer, any sense of when we're going to get to play this thing? Where are you at in development? Well, I'm delighted to say that we aim to have everywhere in the hands of players in 2023, but we've got many more things to show and tell over the coming months. We're really excited for you to sign up on our website, everywhere.game. But really, today was just a sneak peek behind the curtain to see what the team has been so hard at work on. And we're really excited to get this in the hands of players as soon as possible. Amazing. Well, Adam, thank you for sharing the reveal here at Gamescom. It's awesome to have so many European studios on stage. And tonight, we've got a lot of European studios that are going to reveal their games. Uh, European stuff? Right now, we're going to move to another world premiere announcement. Okay. Level Infinite. Fun calm. Legendary. I must not fear. Fear is the, is the mind killer. killer. I believe you may know my nephew. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. Through me, 
and the light has gone past. I will turn the inner eye to see its path. When the fear is gone, there will be nothing. Awaken. What? Or is that? Is it called Dune Awaken? Or just Awaken? I think it's just Awaken. A Dune Open. Oh yeah, it is. A Dune Open World Survival MMO. Wow. That's actually. That's always like, oh, it's a beta version. It's like one of those kinds of games. Awesome. Trust, Trust me, the fun is just, just beginning, beginning tonight. tonight. All right. How many, How many of you out there are fans of PlayStation? Oh, uh, wait. Play well, we've got a fun surprise for you. I said, PlayStation, what can we do for all the fans wait. coming together here at Gamescom? And right now, I'm honored to share this global PlayStation announcement with you right here at Gamescom. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, PlayStation. You said PlayStation. Oh, it's for a new console. Oh, it's for a controller. Oh, nice, nice, nice. New controller. Low new updated controller. Oh! Oh, nice! Duel is. Oh my god. It's like they're bringing back. Wow. There you go. The DualSense Edge, it's a high-performance, ultra-customizable, wireless PlayStation 5 yeah. controller designed by PlayStation. Looks and you good. see there, you can have like your own uh, custom control like, profiles, uh, like customized to your play style. If you guys want to learn more about the brand new controller, you can head to PlayStation Blog. And thanks to PlayStation for sharing that announcement with us wow. here at Gamescom. All right, next up, the Callisto Protocol. You guys hyped for that game? Nice. Thank you. That game looks really good. Well, joining me now is Glenn Schofield from Striking Distance. Uh, Glenn, we are so excited about this game coming out in December. You came all the way over in the middle of development to Gamescom. We really appreciate it. Uh, how has the response been to Callisto so far? Man, Jeff, the uh, response has been fantastic uh, for a new IP. I couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, so I want to thank the fans, and uh, I, I want to thank my team for uh, just really killing it. And it's great to be back at Gamescom, man. You know? Man, he's back here. Well, you got some good stuff for the fans, yes. and we're going to get to that in a second. Um, you brought some gameplay. We saw some great stuff at Summer Game Fest. You brought more now. What are we going to see today? Glenn? Yeah, you've got uh, some uh, live gameplay. Uh, we've got two sections. The first one is going to show some uh, some crazy combat, and uh, the second one is uh, something new uh, from the game, a little different than what we saw. A little new story, a little bit more story. story. Yes, yes awesome. it is. You guys are going to love this. Uh, awesome. One thing I want to ask you about was you're known certainly in the team for your work on Dead Space. In that game, we love the strategic oh, dismemberment. I understand you're kind of one-upping things for this game? Well, we got this amendment, and we've shown the gore system. Um, and today, we're going to show a couple new things, uh, including one that we're showcasing called mutations. So uh, the enemies may sometimes have these tentacles that come out. And if you don't shoot him, take him out on time, oh. uh, this guy in real time is going to mutate in front of you into something bigger, better, faster, meaner, Yikes. taking you out. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's freaking you out. Well, this is one of my most anticipated games. It's coming out this December. Glenn, thanks to you and the team for putting this together. Let's take a look at brand new gameplay from the Callisto Protocol. Thank you. Let's go. Striking Distance Studio. Crafton. It's definitely gotta be one of those originals. And it's gotta be on like a game more like nominated for something for sure, one hundred percent. Gotta be like for best action story game. Not like game I think game of the year too, I believe. Which I don't I don't think. So. Oh wow. Jeez. Remember seeing that where he gets the My experience at the Summer Game Fest, uh, I'm at the fan was amazing. It, I, it was really good. I, there were some games I was really, really, really good. 
with enough ammo. I swear, they show a multi person early and stuff on this. Even though Morgan came out today, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be so happy. It's like a new year that I feel like. Before I kill him. Before I Black Adam Man. Right. This was right. It's gonna be Nancy, probably. <laughs> Alright, that's right, that pretty good, right? <laughs> He's like, oh, we got lots more to cover for you, but right now I want to introduce my co host for ONL, Melly. Melly, welcome to ONL. Thanks, Jeff. I'm so excited to be here at Gamescom. Hello, everybody. I'm your guide for tonight for all the happenings around Gamescom, and I'm really, really excited to be here because the heart of gaming is beating once again. And game devs and publishers from all around the world are making their way to Cologne to show you hundreds of new games. So if you if you're not here yet and still can't yeah, I mean, no, make sure to look look at that, look at that make sure to, make, uh, to drop by next year because it is definitely worth a visit. And one of the highlights we have this year is we actually have the largest, largest in the area, area ever, ever bringing, bringing visitors and devs closer, closer together than everywhere, everywhere anywhere, anywhere else, else in the world. And, and uh, you, can you can meet the makers of the most original and fantastic and creative games here. here. And, if and, if here, and if you're not here, and if you can't make it here, do not worry. You can you also can check out the Indie Arena, Arena booth online at gamescom.global. Jeff? Thank you, Mally, and you'll be with us all night. We've got Gamescom Awards to come and other things too. But let's get right back to the world premieres. premieres. This, this next one is one you've been, been waiting for for a long time, time to see. To see. Let's, let's take a look at this, at this brand, brand new world, world premiere. premiere. Wait, we've been waiting for a long time. What is this? After an age of the cruelest tyranny, man finally defeated. Oh, it's so this game. Forward. It's this game from Xbox. The gods do not fall. What's his name? What's that? It has. Forever. What's his name? What's the name? I remember, I remember, I remember seeing this. I remember. The champions of war united and began the eternal oh, war. Oh, well, that's about the air, believe. Tyrant's colossal remains. Oh, For some forces, even death cannot end. But now, eons later, the fallen god's influence pervades the world again. Corrupting even sworn enemies to join his accursed lords of the fallen and damn humanity to a new age of devastation. Though from these darkest days, new heroes arise to defy. 
by the gods, one must embrace the darkness. And so lies our own. Skyrim? It's Skyrim. It has to be Skyrim. Okay, I'm saying it's Blood. All the more, it has to be like a new Skyrim game. Like a new Skyrim or Elden Ring. Oh. That has to be. It, it, Look at the music. Why does it remind me of Skyrim? Holy crap. The music is sad. That's right. They dropped the two. Uh, the, the Lords of the Fallen. Uh, all right, now it's time for another new game announcement. The sequel to a game that redefined the term couch co-op. Check Couch co-op. Hold up. Are you oh, struggling? my, yeah. Missing your regular FARTs? This game. Have you tried going this game. online? Oh, my God. Visit Exotic Destinations. Wow. Move your dreams, whoever you are. Apply today. No skills? No worries. Everybody's welcome. You're hired. Oh my lord, this game. Open a door of new opportunities. Awesome. Work alone or with a friend. Or two or more. Yes. You can do it. Move locally or connect together online. Yeah! Nice one. Coming out 2023. To... I, I think we're gonna get more info on on Bugs Nats. For once then we have to get more info about it. Nice. Yes, it's time yeah, to step into the Potterverse. Potterverse. You guys excited for Hogwarts Legacy? Well, it is coming out in February of 2023, and tonight at Gamescom, we've got the brand new trailer for you to take a look at. I don't want to say much and spoil much. This is an incredible trailer. I hope you enjoy it. The more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the best prepared will be. If either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the Headmaster immediately. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. I don't know when this was the dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. None of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. What do we do now? It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. I'm ready. Crucio! You've made your choice. Have 
February 10th, 2023. Oh, look at him! Oh, it's reorder gloves. Nice. Reorder edition. 72 hours. Oh, wow. Then you can get around the 8th? The 8th or 9th? I don't know. The 8th or 7th. That's crazy. That's right, it's time to step into the world of Borderlands oh. now. Joining me is the founder of Gearbox Entertainment Company, Randy Pitchford. Yes. Randy, great to see you here. Thanks for the intro, uh, Jeff. I think a lot of these oh guys probably God. know me from my work at I Gearbox never, creating I Borderlands. Any Borderlands fans around. in the house? Well, I got good news. I know uh, some of you hardcore folks oh. saw the leak, uh, but I'm here to officially yeah. announce yeah. new tales from the Borderlands. So, tell us about this. We remember tales from the Borderlands. This is new tales from Borderlands. This is new characters, new story. It is. You know, I loved the original game, and so that's why we got some of the original storytellers and writers that were back in the day at Telltale and developed an all-new storyline with all-new characters uh, created uh, uh, with uh, production from Gearbox Studio Quebec. Uh, it's an all-new experience and uh we're here to show it for the first time today you guys want to check it out let's do it. it's coming soon too right that's right uh coming in october of this year october of this year all platforms awesome well let's take a look Randy. this exciting new tales from the borderlands that's the games come too early man you gotta like clean up below i don't know but this year most stories in the borderlands start bloody oh my god they end bloody too Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through it. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion. Leave immediately! This area is oh my gosh. jurisdiction! They think there was a vault here being kept on the station. If we can find whatever's in that vault before TDR does, we can change our lives! Like, really, really bad. bad. <laughs> Tidio has many, many guns. Talking, Talking guns. Look at the guns graphics, the dude. I'm gonna blast you. No, the graphics are insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I always wanted to change the universe for the better. And now we actually can. But more importantly, we'll be drowning in. <laughs> This trailer is amazing. Time to make mayhem. Your business. Why are you people like this? New tales from the board. Oh my! I never played the original one. But I if you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just. Oh my uh, gosh! I played The Walking yeah, Dead version. Don't worry about them. I played the. Oh nice. Even the what for a tell for a game that's a Telltale related. They have this. Come back to the. City and join the Saints Row, nice. Or Road. I'm gonna tell you a story. Or no, no. About a species that survived millennia. Homo neanderthalensis. Homo rotisensis. Homo erectus. All of them wiped out by the deadliest species of all. Us. I am Astrid. This is the new arena. Oh, it's the arena game. Oh, it has to oh, be like a gladiator related game? Oh, it is. It's Battle Royale. One of the multiplayer games. Awesome. Oh, this is too good. Wow. Holy. Every day you fight for survival. But today, you fight for glory. Anyone can be a warrior. What makes you different is the spirit of a champion. Dying like you. Oh, bloody doll. Oh, this is dying like I didn't know what it was. I was like, never played that like before, dude. Wow. That was like a gladiator multiplayer game. Oh. Yay, the original weird ass ass, dude. Oh my god, they always do this in games. They always interrupt us. With these Red ads. Bull gives you wings. Two more. One more, I'm calling it. So you want to join me? 
in-game footage. See if these, um, are mega RTS of this shit. Oh. Oh, I don't like them. Yeah, I don't like these kinds. Sign they, look, they look a little boring. Yeah, like cool they look a little boring. Man. See, that's definitely a mega C. Product, Product not yet rated. Yet rated. will be handed out to the winners of the best games on the show floor. Only submitted games showing at Gamescom will be eligible to be nominated, and the awards will be streamed on all Gamescom channels, so make sure to tune in. But tonight, I'm allowed to hand out four awards. I'm very, very excited about that. And I would say, let's jump straight into it, starting with the most wanted PC game. Here are our nominees! Nice. Metal Hellsinger System, System Shock, shock. Yeah, Warhammer 40,000 40, Dark Tide And Hellsinger. the is Hellsinger. Metal Hellsinger yep, yep. And here to accept the award is Sheila Vickstrom that, that, that Executive producer yeah, at that The Outsiders The stage is yours Thank you so much. Wow, this, wow, this is, a is a lot of people. people. Uh, I, was I was practicing my speech a lot, but of course, you know, when it's um, as much people as there is right now, you're right blank. Now, you're blank. Um, but I want to say, say that I am honored to receive this award on behalf of my team. The team behind Metal is an amazing bunch of people that I'm so lucky to be working with every day. And the truth, and the truth is, is, making, making games, games is super hard. hard. When, when I started out, I don't think I really realized how hard. And what I learned is that focusing on compassion, kindness, kindness and empathy just, just as much as any other craft in games would be the key, would be the key to successful, successful game, game development. development. And it's precisely those qualities that my team possess and why I'm so privileged to be working with them every day. I love you guys at home. I miss you so much. So what I want to say to you, my industry friends and colleagues is treat each other with heart, kindness, and respect every day. Make games with humanity. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again. And Jeff, back to you. Thank you, Melly. Well, the world premiere train keeps going. It's time to move to the world of Sonic. Any Sonic Hedgehog fans out there? 
Yes, sir. Sonic has had a pretty good year with the uh, Sonic 2 movie, which was a ton of fun earlier this year. Sonic well, trailer? Sonic no, Frontiers kidding, is in no, development, no, no, no. and we've got it's a brand new trailer for you and confirmation of the release date, too. Check this out. Nah, it's not gonna be Sonic 3 trailer. Oh! What the hell? Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! thing for Mando Crossing. Oh my god, it looks cute! Hey, Siri, you missed Siri. Submit. Your reckless actions oh my god, endanger I don't the like world. I don't like you. Wow. Let's go! Oh, Green Hill Zone, baby! Amy! Wait. Amy? Oh, Amy! Is that you? Oh, no, Amy! Yes! Oh! Oh, he's Miss Brown and make that? Wow! Does that have a holy list that he just kicked? Oh my god! Woo! Dan. You cannot run forever. Leave. Immediately. Oh! There you go, it is coming this year, Sonic Frontiers. Yeah. All right, well now, another European studio wanted to use Gamescom o l as a platform to announce another narrative experience. This comes narrative. from French studio. Check this out. There it is. Oh, new choice game? Ooh. Yes, Quantum Dream! We leave so many things behind yes. us. I love these games. Quantum Dream makes Objects. the best games. Memories. Memories. Mistakes. Mistakes. Okay. They sink, they sink in, time. in time. Touch the, Touch the bottom and go to sleep. Silence, Silence is full of ghosts. Mm. And here, voices, voices can only come from the deep. Deep, deep under, the, under waves. the waves. Under the waves. That's the name of the movie. Deep under the waves. Quantic dream. Guys, yeah. it's time for the goats. Ready for some goats? Oh, that game. No live goats today, but we are here to talk about Goat Simulator 3. We got to announce this back at Summer Game Fest. Now it's time to see the gameplay of Goat Simulator 3 for the first time. Let's check this one out. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I thought you just I'm like, we were all like, nah. Wow, though. Goat, Goat Simulator 2 or 3. No, not Wow.
November 17th. That has literally about everything you could imagine in it. Uh, Goat Simulator 3. All right. A lot of people ask me how I got started in the industry. And what I loved doing when I was a kid with my brother, we would play PC adventure games. And I grew up this game. It's this game. Playing classic LucasArts yeah, 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 adventure this game. games. You guys remember Monkey Island? Yep, 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 yep. Monkey Island. Well, yep. I'm so excited because there is a new Monkey Island in development right now. Ron Gilbert, the series creator, is back. You may have heard about it. Return to Monkey Island. And tonight at Gamescom, I am so excited that we get to announce the release date. Or actually, I don't. We get to go to Stan to tell us the release date. Check this out. Hello friends, it's your old pal Stan, Stan coming, coming to you through, through the magic of marketing, marketing, marketing to let you know that your search for quality entertainment is about to bear fruit. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I just dropped the details on you without a little build-up. I want you to see the kind of fine dining establishments you'll be visiting, like this one. Get lost. And if escapism is your cup of flavor, it can't do much better than this exotic and extremely remote island. Stay back! How did you find me? Return to Monkey Island launches September 19th, which happens to be International Talk Like a Pirate Day. But you don't have to wait. You can order it right now, before it's even out. Something we in the marketing industry Recall a pre order. As a bonus, I'm ready to unload this shipment of beautiful horse armor to anyone who pre orders Return to Monkey Island. Holy crap, I actually did. Wow. In your inventory. Oi, you missed the spot. I think you got to go now. I've got a lot of irons and a lot of fires. You know how it is. But I'll be back to steal every scene I'm in in Return to Monkey Island. I'll see you there. All pre-order customers will receive the exclusive horse armor item in their inventory. Please note that the horse armor has no practical use in game and in no way will contribute to the gameplay puzzles or narrative of Return to Monkey Island. Well, I, yeah, I don't think I don't think people buy that. That's it. Oh my God! I'm up the way, and I love the horse armor. Does absolutely nothing. It just sits in your inventory. <laughs> Return to Monkey Island. Could not wait for that. All right, now let's turn to the world of Unknown Worlds, the creators of Subnautica. As we've teased, they are here today at Gamescom to unveil a brand new IP, and it's a departure from Subnautica. It's a brand new turn-based sci-fi game, and uh, we're going to reveal it for the first time right here. Actually, special guest is. Let's check this out. Hi, I'm Brandon Sanderson. You might know me as the author of the Mistborn series, the Stormlight Archive, or as the guy who finished Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. Over the last few years, I've been working closely with my friends in Unknown Worlds on the exciting project we're revealing today. You, of course, know Unknown Worlds for creating immersive and fantastical worlds like the Incredible Subnautica series. When they reached out to me, I was absolutely thrilled to help craft the expansive sci-fi universe in which their next game is set. This secret has been a hard one to keep, and we're so excited to finally show you what we've created together. So, without further ado, this is Moonbreaker. Moonbreaker. Let us keep this civilized. Welcome to the party.
And joining me from Unknown Worlds is Charlie Kim, Charlie Windbreaker. It's real and it's so different than Subnautica. So yes, it is. This departure, you guys like to kind of reinvent yourselves every game, right? Yeah, so people thought we were kind of crazy for making Subnautica after making Natural Selection. We went from a strategy shooter to a pacifist underwater game, survival. So I feel like we've done this before. We know we love changing genres, but I'm hoping you know our Subnautica fans will still come along for playing a digital miniatures game. I hope it's so cool. It's so cool. A, digital a digital miniatures game. game. Uh, everyone, uh, everyone loves, loves miniatures, miniatures, but how do you translate that into gameplay? What is the gameplay of this game? So uh, we're kind of channeling like, uh, like uh, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy or Firefly kind of, kind of feel. feel. So you, so you can see that from the colorful art style, art style we have. Um, so, um, so you choose a captain and 10 crew, and you build, and you build a roster, roster, kind of like a traditional game. miniatures game. And, and every unit in the, in the game is really strange, like, strange and special and kind of game-breaking. So, so um, yeah, you deploy yeah, you units, units, and you move them around on the battlefield, and you get all these crazy game-changing powers, powers, kind of like Hearthstone meets XCOM, kind of. I, I love, I mean, you see the gameplay here, it looks great, and it's coming soon, as we said, in September, so you early access. Long, but, long. but the thing I, the thing I want to get to is the painting, painting of miniatures, which we saw a tease of in the trailer, and I know, and I know you actually, painting, painting was cathartic, cathartic for you sort of during the pandemic, pandemic right? Yeah, so, yeah, so, so the, the painting, painting, I mean, you can't, I mean, you can't have, have a miniatures game, game without painting, and, and during the, the lockdown, lockdown, I just found myself, like, like learning to draw and just, like, just zoning out and feeling really relaxed when the world was basically falling apart around us, and we really tried to capture that feeling. It's not like Photoshop or, like, special technical tools or anything like that, like that. You, you, you just simulate, simulate washes, washes dry, brushing, dry brushing, we've got decals, got decals. Um, this feels, this feels like, like you're actually, like you're actually painting a real miniature. miniature. And, I and I have to say, because everyone's surprised by it, by it like, like, all the miniatures you see painted in the game, game are all painted with the tour, so it's like actually pretty powerful. Amazing. Amazing. Well, so it's so cool that, that uh, you're revealing it here, and it's, gonna, it's playable at Gamescom. It is, it's here. You guys are the first ones to play it? Wow. And Oh yeah, it's more... We're over in the Crafton booth. booth. Okay. Crafton booth. And for, and for everyone else around the world, they're not way long, right? Yes, we'll, we'll be on Steam, Steam Playtest in September. We have a couple open, open weekends, weekends, and then we're going to be launching um, into Steam, into Steam early, early Access September 29th. So wow. it's really close. Only a month away, Moonbreaker. Charlie, thank you so much. Thanks. All the way out here. Thank you. I know you had a tough time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. All right. Charlie Cleveland, Unknown Worlds. Thank you so much, Charlie. And now it's time to reveal another game with a very catchy tune in the trailer. Check this out. Catchy tune. Interrupted game. Card game. Oh. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Inspired by the familiar story of Pinocchio, Lies of P is a new action souls like game that is coming out from Neil Wiz, and you guide Pinocchio on his unrelenting journey to become human. This game looks absolutely great, and we've got a brand new gameplay trailer to show you. And this game is also coming to Xbox Game Pass on day one. Let's check it out. What? Okay, so. Or lie. 
Leo is. I don't see Leo. Leo is. I don't see Leo. But I don't have a choice. Oh, I Only you can do this. Please help me. We need shield. In the darkest of times. Alright, buddy, I'm here for you. Don't worry. Don't give up. Keep Wow, this game's good. Hey you. Yes, you. Do you have bomb? Fear of missing Gamescom. Relax. Gamescom is everywhere you want. Gamescom out. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. All the fun, All the fun of Gamescom is available from wherever you are online, obviously. And, well, in case you're wondering who that little guy is, that's Appy, and he's on a mission to save the Gamescomverse from the evil future. And if you want to help him, check out the Epic section at Gamescom.global. You can solve quests and win prizes, so take part and help Epi to save the games converse but first, but first i want to I tell want you tell more about, more about some, uh, some of the great program, program we have for this week, this week. And it's quite a schedule so please bear with, bear with me there is for example the games go studio, studio by igm featuring game spotlights deaf interviews, interviews and all insights into this year's gamescom so please make sure to check that out so you don't miss anything and also the awesome indie showcase is back featuring the newest most original crazy indie games here on friday afternoon at 5 30 p.m cst and i'm really looking forward to it and something i'm really looking forward to uh, to, uh, to is, uh, is is the is the cosplay contest on sunday where the super creative cosplay community takes center stage and this is absolutely one of my favorites so make sure to not miss it out it is definitely worth the watch and for more updates follow at gamescom on all platforms and well now it is almost time to introduce our next guest but sadly, but sadly she couldn't she make, make it, it uh. since she's a tad far away. So, so let's see. see. She sent us a video, and I, and I would say, let's have a look. Hello, Hello Gamescom. Gamescom. I'm, I'm Isa astronaut, astronaut Samantha, Samantha Cristoforetti. Uh. Currently, Currently flying at around 27,000 kilometers an hour, 400, 400 kilometers above, above your head on board <laughs> of the International Space Station. Today, I come to you to say bravo to the games industry. We we'll see how many space games you've been creating recently. Those missions you send your players on aren't just great fun. They create curiosity, interest, and the love of space exploration in gamers around the world. As we look towards returning to the moon and on to Mars with an ambitious Terra Nova program, humanity's spaceflight capabilities will be in part thanks to the games industry. 
knows? And who knows? Perhaps, Perhaps even, you even you will be, will be among us here, here at ESA for, for the journey. Exploring, Exploring space virtually isn't just great fun. It's having, it's having real, real world impacts that lead us all closer to the stars. So on, so on behalf of everyone at ESA, bravo. bravo. Keep, keep creating, creating keep, keep innovating, innovating, and keep, keep playing. playing. This is, this is Isa Astro and Samantha Castoforetti wishing everyone, everyone a wonderful, wonderful Gamescom from the, from the International Space Station. Space Station. Games for Gamescom Open Night Live. Uh, one of the things I was most impressed with this year is there are a lot of European studios that wanted to debut games here, and also a lot of brand new IP, brand new worlds, and we're going to introduce one of those to you right now, and I think you're going to get pretty excited about it. Check out this world for me. The sand has memories. Memories of our past, when gods walked this world. And our heroes stood amongst them. But the gods' vanity grew. And in their struggle, we were cast away. Only remnants of these stories remain. In the sand. In the, in the ruins of this, of this shattered, shattered broken, broken world. Even in ruins, we endure. 
won't let go. For now, for now we, we can stand, stand for ourselves. ourselves. And face gods. Falling, coming in 2023. Now, a now, classic, classic strategy, strategy game, game that I remember playing, playing in the late 90s, 90s is Homeworld. Home World. Did anyone else play that back in the day? Great PC, Great PC Space, Space RTS, RTS, well, a brand new game 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 coming out next year, uh, and, and we've, we've got, got a brand, brand new look. look. That's a new gameplay game from Homeworld. No, we don't know that game. We don't know what the heck that is. It's like dead silence when he said that. See, do you guys know that game? It was a simple perimeter scan, escorting resources, but we were ambushed by Kalan Raiders. The fighters were no problem, but the missile frigates were a different story. Command got clever. One wing used cover to keep themselves safe on approach. found a tunnel in the structure to sneak behind them. It worked. Just before a carrier battle group arrived. We scrambled bombers. Perfect for attacking capital ships. They protected the resources while they hauled in the goods. Which meant we could roll out assault frigates. The Raiders, Raiders weren't pushovers, but command countered their hit and run tactics. The way their, the way their carrier exploded? Beautiful. And we, and we even grabbed a little. Even the That missile frigate is ours now. Three in the first half of 2023. Now today, now today is a big day, day speaking of threes, because, because it's the version 3.0 update to Genshin Impact, to Genshin Impact uh, which, is uh, which is an incredible action RPG, RPG from Hoyoverse. Well, today we've, today we've got, got an exclusive new look at version 3.0 in the new Rainforest Nation, as well as a sneak peek of a mysterious ancient civilization and settlement that is found deep inside the desert. Let's take a look at this world premiere. Yes, sir, Genshin Impact. Let's go.
What an, what an absolutely, absolutely beautiful, beautiful game. game, and that's, that's not, not all for Playoverse, because they, they also have, have Honkai Star, Star Rail, Rail in development. In development. It's, a it's a grand interstellar, interstellar adventure, adventure, with adventure with strategic turn-based combat, and now we're going to take, take a new look at the story and adventure that awaits you in Honkai Star Rail. For the most wanted Microsoft Xbox game. The Dark, the dark Pictures. pictures the, devil the Devil in Me. The Last, the last case, case of Benedict Fox. Fox. Metal, Metal Hellsinger. Dark Pictures. Dark Pictures, 1 out of 10. That has to be dark. And the winner is The Last the Case of Benedict, of Benedict Fox. Fox. Really? And here, and here to accept you award is Bardek Leszczakowski, creative director at Plot Twist. Congratulations. Thank you. It's uh, quite of a shocker for us. Uh, we just love uh, good Metroidvania games, and uh, we are working hard on uh, making Benefits Benef just that. And I would like to thank uh, Xbox team for their support and uh, Rogue team for being the best publisher ever. And especially, I would like to thank my team uh, in Krakow. They are crazy talented, and uh, my hands hold the award, but uh, their hands make the game. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations once, once again, the last case, case of Benedict, Benedict Fox. Fox. And Jeff, back to, back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank you very much, much Melly. Melly. Uh, uh, they were here a fan of Justin Roiland. Rick and Morty. I'm alive. I'm alive. So he's got I'm a alive. brand new I'm game, which you may have seen at Xbox's show, show in June, called High on Life. It is coming to Xbox and Game Pass in December, in December and, and they wanted to send us just a great gameplay game clip. clip. Uh, you're going to enjoy, gonna enjoy this. this. Uh, talking guns in a boss fight, fight. and that's all I'm going to say to set this up. I think you're going to really... This is a trip. Check this out. World premiere High on Life. Let's go with that. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Nine four. Oh. Well, we're actually hitting her. <laughs> Holy crap, that was cool. That was cool. Come on, admit it. We're, 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 we're hurting you. No, no. Fuck, fuck you. Are you even a real bounty hunter? <laughs> Jesus, it's so gross you even win in there! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sludge tastes like shit! <laughs> yeah, so stop diving in! <laughs> <laughs> shit, she's filling the place with sludge! Stay in the air! Plenty, <laughs> you better not fall in! Hey, I'm still here! You can still use me if you want! <laughs> I can deflect attacks, did you know that? I'm not just all about stabbing. Well, I'm mostly all about stabbing and, and tethering, but I can also deflect attacks. No. I'll slice them the fucking dead. I'll cut their fucking heads off. I'll fucking I'll rip their heads off. I'll fucking do everything. I'll fucking cut right into them. I'll cut their fucking asshole off and eat it. You know, this sludge matches your toxic personality. Fuck off. That wasn't even a good one. Oh my god. Let's back. 
Selected from among thousands of candidates hey, Cutter. Hey, Cutter. to join the Lynx family. This, one, this, one hurts, right? this is more than just a job, it's an opportunity. You ever, you ever miss it? Caution. Lynx, making the world a better place. What they say about work in space is true.
it all together now. You gotta help me rescue my friends. First announced back, back at the Game, Game Awards, Awards Telltale's, Telltale's next, next project is based on the Prime, Prime video series The Expanse. But well, we showed, well, we showed you a little bit of the trailer at the Game Awards, Awards to set up the world. world. Now you're going to get a first, first glimpse of the gameplay, the gameplay with this behind the scenes clip. Enjoy. Yes, the expanse, the expanse is obviously one of those, one of those universes, universes that has, that has a ton of, of opportunities, of great, great stories. One of the one things, things I'm super, super excited about is the zero G stuff, stuff that, we've that we've been doing. A big part, a big part of, of when we're, we're making the game, game, not only are we thinking about the characters, we also, we also have, have to think about how can we evolve, evolve the genre in any way that, that will make players excited to be part of this universe. They feel like they're engaging in something rather than just being a passive audience member. You'll figure something out. I know, you I know you will. It's actually, it's actually been, been a really, really interesting thing as an, as an actor, actor to explore some of her some more vulnerable, vulnerable sides that by the time, the time we meet her in the series, they've been, they've been cauterized. cauterized. <laughs> The craziness of an uh, exploded ship that now constitutes several parts in a mass. And you can move them on. And balancing that out against almost like you're excavating a story. That's a personal story. Those are people. Those are characters. And you are now among the ghosts. Whatever they were doing right before they died. And they scavenged a pretty dark job. We're really excited about how it, how it feels to play, play and experience the story in the game. Speaking of adapting, adapting things from one medium to another, another here's, a here's a film adaptation, adaptation that, that into a game, which I don't think you would ever expect. Oh, you did it! World premiere of the game, of the show, nice. Okay. Clouds, we got it all tonight at opening night live. Uh, now we've got another brand new game announced from a European publisher for a sci fi action adventure. Here we go. Holy. 
That's insane. They add that. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. We observed and explored, but found nothing until now. It has been six months since the alien object known as the Metahedron suddenly appeared above Earth's atmosphere. Personal log, sentient contact assessment and response team. Looking for answer. Kate, we have, we have an issue. From the start. What happened? What happened? Power, power, power supply, supply failing. failing. Sensors offline. I'm switching, I'm switching to backup, backup generators. Now we're going to talk, talk about Gamescom, Gamescom Goes, Goes Green, Green, which is an initiative that has made Gamescom, Gamescom the first climate-friendly climate gaming, gaming event in the world. The core, the core event, event and, event and this show, opening, opening night live, I'm happy to say, are 100% climate, climate neutral for the first time, time and that's something we all should be very proud of. You guys are part of that too. Now, as part of this initiative, Gamescom, along with the United Nations Environmental Program Initiative, Playing for the Planet, we're going to give out the first ever Gamescom Goes Green Award to the best sustainability concept from an exhibitor here at Gamescom. The nominees are Microsoft, Xbox, Yuki, and the Indie Arena booth. And to find out the winner, let's turn it over to Melly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jeb. And yes, the winner of this year's Gamescom Goes Green Award is Yuki. And here to accept the award is Dr. Joe Twist, CEO of Yuki. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you, you Gamescom, for this wonderful award. award. It's brilliant to be recognized. Thank you to the Yuki team who works so hard every day to be greener. Uh, and thank you to the UN's Playing for the Planet Alliance for inspiring us to change. You know, it's so fantastic to see these amazing game worlds that we're going to play in over the next year. But you know, we only have one planet to live on. And we, only and we only have, have one, one lifetime, lifetime to make a change, a change and, to and to protect that, that planet so that, so that we can continue to play our games. So everybody, everybody whether, whether you're a player or a business, or a business can make one small change, change starting, starting tomorrow, tomorrow and together, and together we can, play, we can more play more games together, together. And, save and save the planet. planet. Thank, you Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe, and, and congratulations once again to Yuki. And remember, and remember it is not only the organizers or exhibitors that can go green. All of you, All of you can, can also make a change, make a change by, donating by donating to the Gamescom Forest. Forest. So, so plant, plant your Gamescom tree, tree today. today. Jeff, Jeff, back to, back to you. you. Awesome. awesome. Thank, Thank you very much, Melanie. Congratulations to Yuki. Uh, now, it's now it's time to announce, to announce a brand, brand new game from a new studio of industry veterans working on an ambitious new RPG. RPG. Here's the first tease. Awesome RPG, baby. And then let's see that by you. Oh! Holy! In the crux of reality, there exists two lies. One before the shadow, and one behind the eye. Oh. 
Lots of news here at Gamescom. All right, let's talk about Xbox and Age of Empires 4 that continues to expand. Now we have news on the next civilizations joining the battle as free DLC. If you want to learn more about what's happening with Age of Empires 4, tune into the Xbox booth stream for develop interviews on Thursday. But right now, here's that announcement from Age of Empires 4. more than one way to win a battle, and every empire must find their own path to victory. Whether you strike from afar or ambush up close, the Malians will use wit and strategy to outmaneuver their opponents and gain the advantage on the battlefield. With powerful siege tools and the ability to rally large formations, the Ottomans can keep the pressure on to bring down their enemy's defenses. When the drums of war beat, how will you emerge victorious? History is in the making, and your place in it has just begun. Time, Time to, head to head to Gotham. Gotham. Yes! Yeah. Time for Gotham Knights. Well, you don't have to wait long. It is coming this October, and Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, and Red Hood are going to take over in Gotham Knights. You're probably wondering about the story. Who are the villains? Well, we've got a lot to share in this brand new trailer, and also some exciting news. The release date is going to be a little earlier than you expected. Check this out. Yes, sir. Jim Gordon never gave up on anything. That's why Gotham City is still here. That's why I'm still here. And I've known for a while now that someday, like him, I'd have to work with you. I've seen plenty of criminals in my career, but nothing could have prepared me for this. Well, well, if it isn't Brett. Oh, look at Harley. Gotham City is at her weakest. There's blood in the water. Damn. And the sharks are circling. They're all making their move. Raise them, frozen. Nice. But we aren't going to give up. A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it! <laughs> See you at the premiere. I need your help. Your skills. Your knowledge. Your adaptability. You got my back? This biopic is based on a true story. My story. Soon, the world will feel the cold as I do. I got one last little surprise for you. Now come to watch the show, Red Hood. Nah, I'm just here to kick your ass. Nice. Pretty 
Rieger trailer, right? right? October 21st, 21st now, now for Gotham Knights. Knights. All right, now, now it's time to announce a brand, a brand new, new game, game from a new studio, studio the, the global announcement of the ambitious new adventure game developed by Everstone Games. It's called Where Winds Meet. It's an interactive open world RPG featuring action, adventure, and martial arts set in a turbulent time in the Northern Song Dynasty. The combat looks really cool. Check out this announcement of Where Winds Meet. <laughs> like the, the one AC dog. The, you know what I mean? Like, who's this game? It sounds like that. It literally sounds like that. Meet. Again, so much, so much new, new IP tonight. tonight. It's really cool. All right. All right. Back when we started O&L in 2019, a very special guest joined me here in person uh, to close the show. And this year when I told him that we were going to be back here live in person, he said, well, i got to take part in some way. Uh, so please uh, say hello to my good friend, Hideo Kojima. Mr. Kojima? Thank you, Jeff. Kojima え、僕は今ですね、え、ゲームの制作、え、ゲームの新作に取り組んでおりますが、今回は別のニュースのお知らせとなります。この度、今回は僕のポッドキャスト番組をポッドキャストで、なんと、なんと、独占配信することになりました
それで,それでですね、英語版と日本語版をそれぞれ同時通訳を交えて制作するというですね、えー、新しい試みです。全世界のリスナーに向けてお届けをしたいと思います。またですね、ゲフキールによるエンタメ業界ニュースのコーナーもレギュラー化の決定です。第1回の配信は9月8日を予定しております。各分野を代表するですね、超スペシャルゲストの登壇予定です。ぜひリンクをチェックして楽しみに待っていてください。以上、小島秀夫でした。ありがとうございます。Last year, Last year opening night live, live, we announced Park Beyond, Beyond from l i b i c Entertainment and Bandai Namco. And, and this year, we've got an awesome、uh, booth experience for those of you here in person. And for those of you at home, we've got a brand new trailer that shows you more of this incredible amusement park simulation game. This looks so cool. I have so many questions for you, Oliver.、Uh, first of all, I want to ask you about this partnership、uh, a car with gaming features and Pokemon. How did this come together? Yeah, first of all, let's talk about Gamescom. You know, Gamescom is、um, one of the core events of、uh, fandom pop culture. And as we ourselves are a part of that pop culture, we don't want to miss out such a great event. And the Pokemon Company International, and we have a lot in common. We're both iconic brands. And Mini is more than a car, it's a character, your partner to explore the world. And the world of Pokemon is full of unique characters with special powers. So we share a love for distinctive design and strong values. 
I'm going to ask you your favorite Pokemon in a minute, but first, I want to ask about the gaming features we saw a little bit in the trailer. Tell us, break it down, why does it appeal to gamers? So, first of all, it's all about the Ace Men's gaming features. It's designed to be playful, as the brand is. The Pokemon mode welcomes you inside of the car, and then you can connect your gaming console to your Mini. And all you notice is a lot of details referencing Pikachu in particular. The Eastman is fully electric, just like Pikachu. Forces of Pikachu Glab. So they're a perfect match. They're like, we don't want Pikachu, give us an EV or something. So indeed, there it is. Um, we asked ourselves the question what is if a car could connect it with your gaming console, just like it does with your uh, smartphone? So we are promoting a playful mindset, just like our brand and Pokemon. So our Gamescom claim is play on, nice. never stop playing. Play on. Well, speaking of never stop playing, will we see you next year at Gamescom as well? Yeah, we plan to stay in the game and play on for sure, like we always have from the get-go. So play the game on the All right, Oliver, thank you so much, and we've got much more coming out like still to come. The game made me get car crash! Like, really, game. Like, wow. Dark Tide is a first-person co-op game set in the grim, dark future of Warhammer 40,000. Welcome to Tertium, a sprawling hive city on the brink of destruction. You are a reject, a convict free to serve the Inquisition in this darkest of hours. Wow, this is the third or second it is or your duty fifth to fight. base game we have and not showcased. If necessary, die for the Emperor. You can expect no help. No reinforcements. You are Tershom's last line of defense. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. You got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Stop it! You can't hide from Baba, princess. I'm... How much longer you want to be a nobody? I just need to find the red oak. What you really want to find is... What the hell is wrong with this forest? Not bad. You kill it. You kill it again. <laughs> If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. Red Bull gives you wings. Sally face. Sally face skin.
fire, Babylon. And, and now, now it is, it is time, time for a final, final award. award. But, don't but don't worry, there is, there is more on Saturday, Saturday so, make so make sure to not miss our award, award show on Saturday. Saturday. But, but here, here are, are your nominees for the most wanted, wanted Sony, Sony PlayStation, PlayStation game. game. Okay. The Dark Pictures, The Devil in Me. Life's 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 definitely the Harry Potter game. One, One Piece Odyssey. Odyssey. Dark pictures. And the, and the winner, winner is... Lies of P! Here yeah. to accept the award is Jimon Choi, Project Director oh, at Neowiz. The stage is yours. Oh, thank you. Um, first of all, I'm very proud of my team members. And uh, we always do our best to live up to the, our team's name enough. And finally, do you know BTS? <laughs> like BTS in Korean pop, and we will be done enough in the Korean gaming industry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations you. once again to Liza P. P. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. And yes, and yes that's, that's it for me too for, for tonight. tonight. But before, but before I, say goodbye, I say goodbye, I want to, I want bring, to bring your, bring your attention, attention to a more serious matter. matter. The, past the past five months of war have been devastating for the Ukrainian families, and UNICEF and partners on the ground are supporting those in need. And of course, funds are needed. So please consider donating at unicef.org if it's possible. Possible. And, and um, yes, yes, we have to take care of each other. Care of each other. Gamescom, Gamescom also, also supports the development of Antura, the language learning, language learning uh, game, game for Ukrainian children. children. Antura, Antura is based on an app which, which was made for Syrian, Syrian, Syrian war refugees, refugees to learn the local the language. language. And, and I mean, I mean in times, times like this, this it is more, more important than ever to take care of each other. And I hope you keep that in mind, not only for Gamescom this week, but the way after. Thank you so much. That's it from me. And have a wonderful games come. Jeff, Jeff, back to you. Thank you, Thank Mally. you Mally. Great to have great you with us. us. We got a, we got few, a few more, more games, games to go. go. Now, one of the great, great things, things about Gamescom is we love to profile games made, made in Germany. Germany. And this and next game was made by, was made by four, four students, students in Berlin. Berlin. Big, Big uh, success on Steam, Steam. And now it's coming to a new platform. And we got the announcement right now. Cute, beautiful, beautiful. Now, now we're going to get dark. The Outlast, the Outlast Trials. Trials. You guys excited, excited for this game? game? The Outlast, Outlast Trials we showed you last year at Gamescom Open Night Live, Live, and we haven't heard anything since, really, since really from the team. team. And everyone keeps asking me, when are we going to get to play this? Well, tonight, we've got the, we've got the world, world premiere of the, of the brand new trailer, trailer and yes, some news, some news on when you might get to play it. Here we go. Look at that pretty face. Doctrine, 
That's right. Some, some people, people will get to play something this year. year the Outlast, the Outlast Trials. Trials. All right. Next up, Next up we've, we've got a tease of the first release from Embark, Embark Studios, Studios, which a lot, a lot of the veterans, veterans that worked on the Battlefield franchise in Stockholm, Sweden. Sweden. They've, got They've got a shooter wrapped in a game, game show format, format where destruction, where destruction is going to play a key role. role. What we've got here is a short tease with some actual gameplay in it. The full reveal is coming later in September. You can sign up starting now to get in to start play tests, tests of this. Check out, Check out the, finals. We got one, one more, more game, game for you tonight at Gamescom, Gamescom opening night, night live, live, and this is and this one we've all been waiting a long time for. Here we, Here go. we go. Long time. Tell me this is not GTA 6. Tell me this is not GTA 6. They said a long time. That's guns. That's all dead body related. <laughs> dead Island 2? What I want to do? Time for your fucking dead island related. No! No! That looks like dead island. That looks like dead island. No! 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 You can't. You can't do it. No. That's not dead island. So it looks like it because they're in the Hawaiian team. Holy shit. Oh my god. That looks like Dead Island. Oh my god. Finally. Oh my god. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy. It's true, Dead Island 2 
coming next February and joining now to tell us about this long-awaited game is Khan. Khan, great to uh, to have you with us. Uh, first of all, let's explain a little context to that trailer we saw. Who is that character that we meet? Thank you, Thank Jeff. It's great to be here. Uh, uh, so you just met Jacob, and he is just one of our six playable characters. Our zombie slayers have larger-than-life personalities and unique dialogue, which fits in with a very pulpy and irreverent tone, as you could tell. Uh, I see the tagline there, uh, see you in hell A, so it looks like we're heading to, uh, to Los Angeles in this game? Well, uh, our pulpy tone is kind of a love letter to classic cult Hollywood horror B-movies, so we're better to set it than in Los Angeles, uh, so we're not modern paradise gone to hell. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it looks uh, yeah, looks cool. <laughs> it's obviously like, over the top. Uh, I, know I know you're working on the narrative for it. Uh, this game has been, you know, long awaited for many, many years. You guys have been working on it for a few. Yeah, I'm sure some fans would agree with you. It has been long awaited, but uh, Silver Dam Buster Studios started work on it about four years ago. We were really lucky. We got to build it from the ground up. We got to focus on what we love about the franchise, the over the topness, and um, we think we've got a really great. I thought it was RPG out of that. I, so let's so talk about the gameplay. We saw the CG piece, obviously, but what can we expect from the gameplay when we show it? So, so Dead Island 2's gameplay, gameplay is all about experimenting with your oh preferred zombie slaying methods. methods. Just kind of going nuts. It's a oh combat God. toy box of oh. close quarters oh. melee brutality oh. with a few guns for fun. Okay, well, uh, can't wait, can't to, wait learn to learn more. When are we going to get to see more, uh, see some gameplay? You want to see some gameplay? Yes. Well, I thought well, you want to see some gameplay. You guys, guys, gameplay? guys want to see the gameplay? Yeah! Can we do it now? How about now? Yeah! Okay, let's do it. Here's your first look at the gameplay of Dead Island 2. Thanks, Con. Holy sh- Oh, my God. Dude. Holy crap. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, year this ga it, the game came out that was revealed on 2012. 2012, this was revealed. And holy crap. This is amazing. Stand the fuck back. It's hammer time. Oh, no. <laughs> they still show it, though. <laughs> this way for the happy ending. Jimmy? Wow. This is and then I love it. Humanity's survival depends on the red gold pumping through my veins. Well, sounds like you're the star of the show. Now. Oh, this is so amazing. And believe it or not, there is an uncut version of that trailer you can watch online if you want to see even more. All right, watch awesome. Dead Island 2 coming in February, and that is going to wrap up all the reveals for Gamescom opening night live 2022. Uh, it's been a fun show, but before we go, I just want to say I hope everyone has a great Gamescom. Uh, there's lots of live streams for the next couple of days, lots of things for you guys to go and play and check out here on the show. Floor. And as for me and the team, we're going to go back to Los Angeles and get ready for the Game Awards 2022, which I'm excited to announce will be live on Thursday, December 8th, 2022 from the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. We've got lots of great stuff working on for that. But until then, hope you guys have a great Gamescom. Thanks so much for being a part of Opening Night Live. We'll see you soon. That was unexpected. I think I'm seeing us here. Okay, that was good. I'm gonna end stream right here. See you guys watching.
I will see you guys next time. Oh my god,